Hello and welcome once again to Health Professional Radio. Glad that you could join us. We're going to talk with returning guest, Dr. Greg Sylvester. He's Chief Medical Officer at Securus, and he's joining us to talk about a brand new formulation for treating seasonal flu in uh, folks that are 65 years or older. Thank you for uh, returning, Dr. Sylvester. Well, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. For our listeners who um, may not be familiar with you, of course, you're a returning guest. Give our listeners a bit of background about yourself, other than being a CMO there at Sequeiros. Sequeiros. <laughs> well, um, I am a physician by training. I have uh, boards in, in two specialty areas. I've been um, working in the uh, medical affairs business for about uh, a dozen years. And prior to that, um, I worked in state government um, in public health. Now, of course, you know, we are in flu season, full full tilt, and with the uh, the other obvious things going on in the news as far as um, the virus, uh, let's talk a little bit about the seasonal flu. Uh, this is not the flu that, that's running rampant uh, right now around the world. We're talking about that seasonal flu, that every year flu that we're all urged to get shots against, right? Well, that's right. So in, in fairness, you're absolutely right. We're not talking about coronavirus. We're talking about influenza, and influenza circulates annually around the globe. And in fact, um, this year, the latest data coming out of CDC is saying that um, there have been a number of of, um, hospitalizations due to influenza, as well as a number of deaths in the United States uh, due to influenza. So this is something that we do have a vaccine for, and that it is something that we can um, help prevent. And so, um, yes, uh, that's the, what we're going to be discussing today. Now, when it comes to the flu and older people, 65 and older, uh, it would seem that that group would be just even more susceptible, like that group is more susceptible to a number of uh, illnesses. Well, that's right. And, you know, that has nothing to do with our age. It has probably more to do with our immune system, and maybe Mm -hmm. they're correlated. But Mm -hmm. it it turns out that as we grow older, our immune system works a little bit less each and every year. And so, in fact, there's a fancy medical term uh, for it. It's called immunosenescence. And our immune system sort of just goes to sleep over time. And so we find that if you look at the data that comes from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta, that 70% of hospital-related influenza is in this age group, in 65 and over. And over 90% of influenza-related deaths are in this age group. So there's no question that the real burden of disease is for those that are 65 plus. And that's why we created fluid quadrivalent. Now, normally, um, what was the treatment or before this new combination? What was the treatment for someone 65 or older um, who was presenting with flu symptoms? Well, so so typically, you know, vaccines are preventive and flu if we get flu, then it's we're trying to therapeutically. So, you know, we, we typically do what our, our moms and our grandmoms taught us. We, we rest, we go to bed, we, we drink plenty of fluids, we take some type of uh, fever medication. There are um, medication if you catch flu in the first tw- uh, 48 hours, a physician or healthcare provider can write for an anti-influenza um, medication. Uh, which reduces the symptoms a little. But really the best thing to do is try to prevent flu altogether, and that's what the vaccines are, are meant to do. Well, let's talk about uh, flu, uh, It's It's brand new, as you, as you mentioned. Um, let's talk about how it protects, uh, further protects that age group. Well, that's right. So I will say that um, we have had flu in the United States approved in a what we call a trivalent formulation. And I mean that is that we had two A strains. Influenza comes in all shapes and sizes, and often the ones that cause disease in, in humans is influenza A and influenza B. And so since 2015, November, the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, approved flu trivalent. It had two A strains in it and one B strain. 
this new formulation, the quadrivalent that was licensed in February, this past February, by the Food and Drug Administration, now has four strains, right. two A strains and two B strains. And in fact, whether it's the World Health Organization or the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention or the FDA, they all get together and they select what strains ought to go into a vaccine. And they'll tell you whether, if you're only gonna put three in, which ones the three are, and if you put four in, and now Fluad for 65 years and older mm -hmm. is actually, we're gonna be able to put all four strains in our vaccine. Now, if I'm understanding correctly, the flu vaccine works in such a way as to uh, stimulate antibodies against the flu. Is is that correct? Well, that's right. So it's a it's an artificial infection. What we're trying to do, it's inactivated. It's impossible to get the influenza disease through a flu vaccine. But what what it does is it artificially um it, it, it tells our body, this is, this is influenza, and let's make antibodies ahead of time. The interesting thing about Fluad is it actually has an adjuvant, which actually enhances the immune system so that actually we can make more antibody, they can last longer, and they may be a little bit broader so that if the virus shifts a little, we may be able to protect it. You. Now, with this, um, with this added, uh, these two strains of, of A and B in this vaccine, if it's working so effectively in a diminished uh, immune, immune system in a 65-year-old person or older, would it be even more effective in someone younger, in that, uh, younger than that? Well, that's a very good question, and it's certainly a question that we toss around here at Securus all the time. The, the belief that right now, though, is that if our immune system is working well, then we really think that probably just giving four strains in a normal vaccine might be the answer. But as we age, we do think that by giving them this adjuvanted quadrivalent, fluid quad, and then, in fact, it may offer more protection. But I will say that we think about that, and um, but at this point in time, where the real burden of disease is, is 65 plus, and that's why we've targeted that age group. Well, we'd like to get some more information online about this, uh, this recent uh, formulation of Fluad. Where can we go online and get some more information? Well, yeah, so the two, you know, highly respected uh, government websites are the Food and Drug Administration has a website, and you can go on and actually search any vaccine or any therapeutic, any any pill. And so if you go on the FDA website, you can look at Fluad Quad, and it'll tell you about it. And then the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention also has a marvelous um, website that has a whole host of information on influenza, and they will have information on Fluad there also. Very great. Greg, thank you so much for returning here on Health Professional Radio. Always a pleasure, always um, highly informational, and I'm glad uh, that you came back. Hopefully we'll uh, talk again in the future. I look forward to it. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming back. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with returning guest, <clears throat> with returning guest Greg Sylvester. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download it, SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, healthprofessionalradio.